Johnson. On my way up here to Indianapolis to pick up four pallets of Target. Spent a thousand bucks on it. When I got up this morning, I was a little nervous about going up here and doing this. But then I realized it wasn't because of the pallets. It was because I almost smashed into the back of a semi. And it wasn't because of recording either. So, we'll see you when I get there. Well, I'm back at home base. I was going to do things a little different today. But things didn't work out. You know, that's the life of a reseller. You got to learn to adjust. Because that's, you got to make adjustments every day. I was going to try to do each pallet individual unboxing them to give you a better view of the breakdown of each pallet. And I had my brother up there at the location to meet me, but some things came up and he couldn't help, which is fine. I understand that. I appreciate you being there for me, bro. I love you. It's all good. But I managed, we managed to get four pallets loaded on one truck amazing but I gambled on this pallet is because in my other videos my target bit my target video the forklift driver told me that the yellow tags which I thought was this right here meant electronics that ain't the case I peeked in one of them and it's been all closed so I'm not super excited about this so uh as you can see, my tables are bare. So I'm gonna start unloading and let's see what we get. All right, well, I'm done unloading, going through everything. I'm gonna tell you at first, I started getting disappointed, discouraged, started regretting it, having buyer's remorse, which I do that all the time. It's just part of it with me. But we're gonna do things different and I'm gonna start off with the bad and show you the ugly and then the good so out of everything four hole pallets there's only a couple things that was broke you know broke bowl broke glasses broke lion some broken picture frames and there was another picture that was big that was broken i threw in a dumpster before i even got home now there is so much clothes i mean it's clothes clothes big variety of clothes but there's just so much of it so much of it and it's all brand new with tags so you know i plan on trying to start it off at four bucks a piece and work my way down from there as the days go on but you see it's just boxes and boxes and piles and piles and boxes of clothes Clothes, clothes, clothes. And the clothes don't stop. They just keep on coming. Did get another box of shoes. Got boxes and boxes of Fortnite jackets, which I looked some of them up. And they're selling online sold prices in between 15 and 30 bucks, depending on what website and what store you're looking at. But there's a big variety of them. I mean, there's just tons and tons and tons. I'll probably sell some out here and list them online. And you know, when I do my prices, I do sold prices for my comps, like on eBay. But the clothes just keep on coming. And I don't do free shipping. I charge the buyer for shipping because I've lost money doing that way. I let them pay for it. But, you know, I got boxes and boxes and boxes of jeans. They just keep coming and coming. Now on to the better. We got probably 10 sets of comforters at least. And I looked these up retail at Target. They're in between $150 and $188. So I'm going to ask $50 bucks a piece for them. You know, I should turn them out pretty quick, pretty easy that way. Last ones I had sold in a matter of hours. So, you know, there's some money sitting right there. Now we'll go on. Oh, here's some randomness that was in them. Nothing special. Nothing, nothing exciting. Just general merchandise. But when I'm digging through the boxes, 
I do find that, but it's empty. I find an Apple Watch box, but the box is empty. I still need to dig through the boxes because it could be in there and fell out, but who knows, but that'd be exciting. Now on to the good stuff. Try to get out of the light so you can see a little better. Got quite a few pairs of headphones and earbuds. These ones brand new are almost 200 bucks. Crazy. We've got like 50, 50, 30, 30. Another 30 on the uh, gaming thing. Got a couple purses, them oil belays right there. Those are 20 bucks a piece. Sold. I've sold quite a few of them already. Another pallets. Got an Easton baseball backpack ordeal. Uh, here's an example of one of the Fortnite hoodies. You know, it's got the whole zip up face, the whole ordeal. We got a chair down here. Nothing exciting. And these things for a shaver, they run about 20 bucks a box sold. So, you know, I'm going to say 100 bucks in that box. Had two of those, done sold one already for discount to a friend those retail on used on ebay they was selling at 100 bucks used and that one's brand new already checked it out then little jet cart thing attached to a hoverboard roll out a few miscellaneous toys you know everything's been brand new that i've checked out a couple boxes are damaged but just in this section right here, I'm going to say on the low end, 700 bucks. So, I spent 1000 on four of them. Here's the last box. There's jewelry, some more jackets, and a bunch of more jewelry and trinkets. Did get some totes. Hey, hey. But yeah, spent a couple spin mops. I know those were sold already. But yeah, I spent 1000 bucks. so I'm definitely making my money back. Making a little more than what I thought. So I'm excited. After it's all said and done, I feel better. So right on for watching.